All right, in my notes today, I am very briefly going to go over social movements during the 1960s. So basically, there were a ton of different social movements during the 1960s because the 1950s was so um, peaceful and people were like pretty much happy with our society. So people just gave in to conformity, sticking to the status quo. Um, but then in the 1960s, certain groups who had been overlooked by this new society, uh, these new social norms, began speaking out for equal opportunity and equal rights. And those groups captured public attention and asked uncomfortable questions that would eventually lead to a better, more equal society. And these are some of the main social movements of the 60s. If you choose to do this assignment for your um, unit four assignment, then you will have to choose two of these to research more in depth. But basically we have feminism as a movement and we know that still exists today in many different forms. Um, basically just equalizing of women. We have the Chicano movement, Native Americans, the environmental movement starts in the 1960s, which we are still, you know, concerned with today. Hippies evolve out of the beatniks of the 50s. Um, we have the gay rights movement really taking off in the 60s. And we have the civil rights movement, which we will talk a lot about next week. So basically, um, there are a ton of different reasons why there are so many social movements in the 60s, four main reasons in general. Um, so one, since the Great Depression and the subsequent New Deal, the federal government had taken a bigger role in people's day-to-day -day lives, and so people were looking to the government to help solve their problems. Um, so people who were starting social movements we're trying to get the government's attention so that they could get laws passed and things like that for a more equal society. Two, the 50s and 60s were times of economic prosperity for most Americans. Um, most Americans were getting paid better wages, things like that, which allowed more time for other activities and also made the gap between the rich and the poor very, very obvious. Um, so people who were leading these different social movement groups um, were trying to bring attention to this gap between the rich and poor. Three, we have TVs now in the 50s, um, which allow people to see what's happening in other parts of the country, um, which means they're more aware of disparities between ideas and things like that and how people are treated. And then the last one is more people are going to college after World War II, which means that more people are getting educated um, and more people are becoming concerned with these different issues that they're seeing in society. So some of the ways that um, these social activist groups are trying to bring attention to the government of these issues in society is through um, systems of direct democracy. They're trying to bring it straight to their elected officials instead of just leaving it in their hands. So they use public marches, picketing, sit-ins, rallies, and petitions to try and bring their voice to the government to try and get their attention. And that is it for social movements. A super short notes video. Lucky you.